Ladies and gentlemen, episode five, Allison Bordevin, let's fucking go. Allison! Oh yeah, she just kind of just been here. Just <laughs> uh, she does not know what the fuck's going on. She's out here by herself. What an asshole, a goonie, fucking asshole. Could have brought her along. <laughs> goonie. Yes, sir. Let's fucking go. Speed on the king of the middle. Oh, I'm a tetsai. I told you that. Show saying that's my ninja. うん。必ず弱点はある。反熱無理だよ。ああ、俺にはそれぐらい不調でいい。いや、そう。死にご調査がしてる人間には最適のゲームだよ。でもそれが人間じゃない。羨ましいよ。うんうんうん。グーニー
No, she didn't. No, she didn't. No, no, she didn't amputate her own leg. No, she didn't amputate her own leg. Oh, a doctor. Okay. <laughs> no, he's not implying what I think he's implying. Oh my god. Jesus fucking Christ. And she said, yeah. Oh my god. Are you fucking kidding me? I hope to God she he did the thing and then he fuck she fucking killed him. Oh Jesus fuck. Jesus fucking Christ. Jesus fucking Christ. That might be the most disturbing one yet. That might be the most disturbing backstory yet, dude. Fuck. Holy shit. That one that one fucked me up. Jesus Christ, man. What is their obsession with the R word, dude? I wonder if it's like a common thing over there. Because they've talked about it a lot in this show. No! There's, there's a kid here. Fucking A, dude. This episode's loaded with just awful shit. On! That's mother. That is mother. What has she been up to? An looks like somebody that would be in Resident Evil, dude. She's a fucking badass. Okay, so everything's moving. Okay, what did, they what did we learn in the last episode? Everything's moving faster. There was fireworks when it started. Yeah, I wonder if they were just, like, celebrating a new world. That, like, this is just a... Uh, they That this is, like, a government experiment and that they created a new world and, where the strongest will survive. I wonder where she met Aguni. I want to get their backstory of how they met. Oh, shit. Uh-oh, not good. Oh, oh, oh no! A reason turned around! Aguni? Oh, shit! He's, that's a, he's got a bulletproof vest on. You gotta double tap, baby. Zombie land rules. Come on. Double tap. Put another one in him. Oh, no. Come on. You gotta keep shooting. <laughs> yeah, talent for it. <laughs> what? Why is he holding the gun like that? Oh, grenade. Oh, my God. Get him. Oh, let's go. Come on. Thank you. Good shit. That's a concussion. Okay, he's leaving. Oh, thank God. All right, Aguni, wake your dumb ass up. Surely he told you how to fucking close up a wound, right? Fuck, well, that went horrifically wrong. Usagi? Ooh. <laughs> he's just some random dude. Damn, dude, all I can think about is Usagi. Usagi! Damn, dude, he's just been tirelessly looking for her. So sad. Okay, Aguni straight. Oh, fuck. That scared me for a second. It makes sense that his inner demon yeah. is the Mad Hatter, you know, because his friend went mad. His friend went crazy the way he started to. And he doesn't want to he doesn't want to become like his friend. He doesn't want to become a psychopath. He doesn't want to turn to madness, which is very telling of his character and the kind of person that he wants to be. How long have these two been uh, been teaming up? That's what I want to know. Whoa. Yeah, everything is aging up significantly. Wow, we just went from fucking regular city to The Last of Us very fucking fast. Yeah, so maybe they're on a different planet or like on a different, in a different universe where everything moves quicker or something. I don't know. It's wild that everything started to speed up though. God, this aesthetic is awesome. I love this aesthetic so much. Oh fuck, is it a free-for-all match? And, yeah, of course, Queen is gonna win that shit. Imagine we just watched her die, dude. Take a pipe to the head. We're just like, what the fuck? What if wounds heal fast? And that's why Oguni lived. That would make a lot of fucking sense. Because norm the, the thing that Naragi and Aguni live through are things that you just can't, you can't live through. Like, you can't take bullet rounds and then just, like, survive a fire. So I wonder if wounds heal fast. Ooh. I wonder. I think that might be, I think I might be onto something with that. That or it could just be plot armor, which is also okay. But <laughs> I'm just trying to rationalize, you know? And the every, plants are growing, so why wouldn't, you know, what if they're aging as well? No, because with how much everything's grown in, then on and Tashi and all these people would be like fucking in their 40s, 50s by now. But shit, maybe I still might be onto something with the, the wounds healing. It's almost like they're in a video game. Like, what if they are in a video game? They got transported into a video game on some like Sword Art Online shit. What if that's what it is? How is this kid surviving these games? Don't kill this kid. 
Oh, they're gonna kill this kid, aren't they? Oh, they're gonna kill this kid. Oh my god, this episode's so fucked up. She is gorgeous. Can I just- can I reiterate that? Jesus Christ. Anyways. <laughs> Fuck, dude, they're gonna kill this kid. I know it. These- Alice in Borderland does not pull on its punches, dude. It does not pull on its punches. It has not pulled on punches this episode. They're gonna kill this fucking kid right now. I already know it. The fuck? It is your bad. If you're saying it's not your bad, I- Hey, it's not my fault if I kill this fucking kid. Guess what? It's your fault, motherfucker. Arisu! Yes! 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 Kiss, 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 kiss. This is the, the second to last game. No! Come on! Kiss! Kiss! Sorry. <laughs> Listen, I kind of went a little wacko there for a second. Yeah, well, he doesn't have a choice. Hey, and kids got long lungs, dude. Kids could, kids got great endurance, bro. Kids could run for hours and hours and hours, so I don't think getting a kid is that bad of a thing. They could play tag. You just gotta give him a fucking yogurt and he'll be straight. That'll give him enough energy. クイーンチームの王様は私。挑戦者チームの王様は。No. Oh. <laughs> Holy fuck. What a piece of shit. Each turn will last no more than 5 minutes, okay? After the end of 16 rounds of alternating turns, the team with the most members wins. The member of the losing team, including the king, will all die. She almost kind of want to get tagged, but obviously you want to defend that kid, so if you care about that kid, then... No, because at least for the first few rounds, you kind of want to be like, you want to go with the power in numbers, because they're at a the, the red team's at a disadvantage. This is a sick game. It's like tag chess. Oh, fuck. Here they go. Oh, so they can't get tagged right now. They have to run. All right, youngin, you play tag? You're a small target, big dog. You're a small target. And you're fast as fuck. You're getting in spaces that they can't. Don't stay right here. Fucking move, kid. You got more, You got a bigger gas tank than we do. They gotta touch her back, so I'd start fucking shoulder blocking motherfuckers. Drop kick the bitch. She's gotta touch her back. Oh, fuck. She's a beast. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. Listen, is there anything else that needs to be said? Ooh, Asagi's gonna be a fucking dog in this game. She's gonna be a dog in this game. Yeah, true. 100%. Okay, yeah, that's smart. Oh wow, they are getting destroyed. They haven't gotten one fucking person. Queen would have been nice in this. You want to be quiet, dog. You're running on metal. They could hear you. Queen would have been amazing in this game because she would have just been fucking motherfuckers up, dude. She would have started kicking teeth in. Where was that dude that was talking shit a, a, a few minutes ago? Talking about, I'll do what I gotta do. Fucking dumbass. Where's he at? Wow, this one is rough, dude. I think they're gonna have to sacrifice this kid and let themselves get tagged. I know that's fucked up to say, but holy shit. You can't coordinate a win with this many people. What are they gonna do, man? They are fucked. And then it's the tween's, queen's turn again. I feel like she gets longer turns. They're just gonna close in on them, bro. There's nothing they can do. They have to, this kid's gonna die. It's just down to Usagi, the kid, and Arisu. Oh no. Ah, oh, fuck. They're they're screwed. The kid's screwed, man. Wait, they're grouped up in one place. Just surround them. Run, Arisu! Woo! What's good, bitch? Oh, come on! Ah, oh, come on! Fuck! Hell yeah, dude! Damn, what a what an episode! What a loaded fucking episode, man! That one, I'm not gonna lie, that one was low key kind of traumatizing, dude. Uh, I think I don't know her name, a Kane, a Kanye, Haya, whatever the fuck. Um, her backstory was 
her backstory was fucking rough, dude. Uh, what she had to do to get that leg amputated is, ooh, that one's rough. That one might be the roughest uh, backstory yet. You know, you didn't you didn't have to see that one to to feel it. That one was fucked up. That one was a little bit uh, oof. Uh, that's all I could really say. That one's a little. That was that was that was something. A Goonie's still alive. I love that we kept him alive because. I, I don't know if I said it in season one when Aguni died, but I loved the story that they were telling with him, and it's such a fucking thrill that we get to keep telling that story. I'm such a big fan of his character. He's definitely my favorite character in this show, so I'm so fucking happy he's back because he, there was so many layers to that character that I'm excited that this show is exploring. So I'm fucking really stoked about that. Listen, number one rule, man. I tell it to my sister. I tell it to my brothers. I tell it to everybody all the time. There's a number one rule in movie, TV, and video games. If you don't see them die on screen then chances are they're not dead. They, they don't let important characters like that die off screen. And uh, so, you know, Naragi and Aguni tackled each other off, off camera. So we didn't get to see them die on camera. So listen, man, the number one rule holds on, uh, holds true. You know, the number one rule holds true, true that uh, if they don't die on screen, then chances are they're not dead. Um, so I'm excited that we get to keep telling Aguni's story. His character has so many fucking layers, dude. And I love that. I like that the Mad Hatter kind of represents his 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 inner demons. Yeah, I mean it it, it makes sense because he just doesn't want to turn out like his friend, and and I feel like that's that's a, that's a part of his character that I'm so excited that we get to explore, um, in this show. I heard that they were making a season three, so chances are we're gonna get to continue to tell that story, which I'm really really excited about. Um, things move faster, so what do we know? Things move faster, possibly could be the reason why wounds heal. Could be the reason why Oguni and Aragi are alive. And and if that's the case, then that it, it would make a lot more sense considering that uh, Aguni took a bunch of gunshot uh, gunshots. Uh, but even then, you could cover that one up with like, oh, well, Aguni is... Uh, oh, he was a—he's a former a vet. He's a—he's a military guy, so he would know how to how to uh, take care of bullet wounds. But even then, like the amount of shots that he took, like I don't know, it's possible, but it's like you know, it's not like super possible where you could go like oh yeah that's the reason so i wouldn't be surprised if if the wounds get healed faster and especially naragi i mean he got burned alive twice got tackled into a flame he should be dead with those kind of wounds but yet he's still alive and he was even choking up blood and yet still didn't die time moving faster the world is really starting to reflect the uh time moving faster and Everything's like all green and mossy and shit on some Last of Us like post-apocalyptic shit. I don't know what they're talking about with the with the fireworks. They were saying those weren't fireworks. They said it looked like fireworks, but it wasn't fireworks. But we got to actually see those fireworks in this episode. So I wonder what that lady could have meant by they aren't fireworks because it looks like fireworks. So I wonder what it is that they could see, and if they are fireworks, you know what could be the reason why those fireworks went off? And like I said earlier uh, earlier in this video, like. I feel like it could just be like they're celebrating something, um, whether it be a new world or whatever the case may be, or that they're just in a video game that's just moving faster. It, it could be a variety of different reasons. As far as like why uh, a certain amount of people got selected and not everybody got selected, and that there was only a few people that got picked, I can't make a connection between all the people that got picked. It can't be a will to live, right? Because we got a bunch of dudes that are like super emo. The dude killed himself, so it couldn't be that, right? Because if, if it were about people who had strong will to live than the dude that you know what i'm saying like he wouldn't have gotten picked um it couldn't be that they're all bad people because that kid is innocent right i mean all kids are innocent for the most part um unless this kid makes a massive heel turn and turns out to be the child of like a fucking serial killer or something yeah as far as like why these people got picked i'm not really sure right now it, i guess the only thing is that all of these people have skills I mean, that could be, that could be it. But then even then, like, there were a few people that were fucking useless in this show. So I don't think it's some, it's people that are, like, that are good players or something. I mean, it could be. That's still on the table for, for sure. But so many people have fucking died. Not a lot of people were, like, the sharpest. Like, they were kind of, a, a lot, we've met a lot of people that are pushovers. So I don't know if it's, if it's that. But anyways, a lot of questions that I'm sure are going to get answered in the next few episodes. So see you guys next week. Alice in Borderland episode six.